Hello folks, this is the Garage Woodworker and today I'm going to give you some tips of how to maintain your own vehicles. In this uh, Scion, one of our sons complained about some sounds from the brakes. So all we've done so far is take the wheel out and we'll take the opportunity to check all the systems that are visible. This is the caliper and we, were che we checked and we have a lot of... You can turn it on. As you can see we have a lot of pad left so these brakes do not need to be changed. We have an even wear throughout the disc and an easy way to have, uh, identify if your discs are wearing badly is to use your finger without a glove and you should not feel any ridges or, uh, or marks. Now since we're here this is the ABS and simply check for any strange wear or any leaks uh, here. You probably need to come up here with my own sorry. I want to show the boots. Can you get to the boots? I don't know if there is a yeah, boot. They are. Okay, one of the areas you want to check is the boots and visually check them for cracks or leaks. If they are cracked or leaked, they will have to be replaced. And you want to look for any leaks in the hose lines. These are the, the brake lines and they have several connections. And as you see, we don't have any leaks here. So this overall looks very good. The only thing I noticed, if you look at the floor as we were taking the wheels out, we got a lot of uh, residue, a lot of dust which might be what was giving the squeaking we will see we have to take the car for test drive but this is normal especially in an older vehicle what year is this? 2009 so this is a 2009 it's not a very old vehicle but still the calipers are in good shape the brake pads are in good shape everything looks to be in a good shape while we did use a power tool to take the wheel off you never put the wheel back on with a power tool. You need to do it by hand. Uh, on this uh, specific car, it is 75 foot pounds. 76. Huh? 76. Uh, 76 foot pounds. And we have to use a, a torque wrench to make sure that we are the correct sp foot uh, pound. But here, how we're going to do that? Do you want to call him? So on our torque wrench, we have a graduation, this is the 80 point and this is the point 6, so we're at 76 we align this line with the center line and we're just below the 80 point and that tells us we're at 76 uh, foot pounds and that is the correct setting for this car yes, I'm, I'm recording okay, now we're going to put the, the tire back and again, when you remove the tire you can use air tools but when you put it back on the car you must never use air tools. It has to be used by hand and it has to be torqued. So first you need to align with the studs. With there? Yep. Okay, this car has a lock. So let's do the lock first. And we're going to start by tightening things by hand in a zigzag fashion. So I think by hand as much as you can. If your car has washers, not all cars have washers, this specific has washers, make sure you do put the washers on. Do not lose them. Take 
again the specific car has a key so you have to find your key adapter and simply turn it until the key clicks and then you're going to be able to do more, more by hand uh, we need times can you get from the just take it off thank you and then again in, in zigzag fashion hand tighten it and using the socket makes that easier now in this specific car the the keyed one and the non keyed one use two different sizes which is a strange thing once they are hand tightened we are going to go ahead and drop the car and then we are going to use our when you drop the car drop it in a as low position uh, way as possible and as we showed you a moment ago we have our bar ready Have been correct because we never undo things. That click tells us that we're at the 76 foot pounds, and again, you cannot over tighten it. That's the advantage of using this kind of torque wrench. And I need the other one, this is a different size. Yeah, but you use that one. This is the one that we used on this. Okay. And now again, with the same idea, we're going to go around until you hear one click. And the click tells us we're at 76 foot pounds. And that is all you have to do. The, the car is back together and, and drivable. We will have to test drive it now to see if we can hear or feel anything with the brakes. But other than that, this uh, quick job is done. I hope you like this short video that will save you a lot of money by taking your own brakes. And if you liked it and you found it of use, please share, like and subscribe. And we will see you soon with another video.